Hi guys, how are you doing all today? Well, we're still all still in lockdown for safer at home. And this is getting to be a pretty long time, isn't it? Well, I know that too. Maybe while you're home, you're watching lots of movies. And maybe some of those are Disney movies. If you notice, I'm sitting in front of our, our castle here today. That reminded me of some of the Disney movies that maybe that we like to watch that have castles in it. And I'm, I'm thinking of like Snow White would be one perhaps, and Cinderella would be another one. Probably you've all watched Frozen. Clearly there's a castle there as well. Well, our castle day reminded me of a story that Jesus shares as well. It's not about a castle really, but it's being about being locked behind closed doors. So the story I want to share with you today is again from the Easter story book. This book is in public domain. The story is from John's Gospel, chapter 20, and it is simply called Seeing is Believing. And we have a picture here of Jesus, and he's standing in a room with a door closed behind him, and the disciples are all there. So let's see what our story says for the day. The news that Jesus was alive soon spread among his friends. The disciples were still in Jerusalem. They were too frightened to move for fear of what might happen to them too. One night, the majority of them met together and locked the doors for safety. But then the unexpected happened. Jesus appeared among them. The disciples were overjoyed. They were thrilled to see Jesus again. Everyone forgot their fear and enjoyed being in Jesus' company once more. Everyone, that is, except for Thomas. Thomas was not there when Jesus appeared to the others, and he refused to believe that Jesus was alive. I'll only believe that Jesus is alive when I can actually see him for myself, he said softly. I won't believe until I put my finger into the holes where the nails were in his hands. Well, a week later, all the disciples met together in that room one more time. They locked the doors again, still fearful that they too might be arrested. And from nowhere, Jesus appeared before them. Peace be with you, Jesus said. Then he turned and looked at Thomas. Thomas, he said, look at my hands. Put your fingers in the holes where the nails were. Don't doubt anymore. Believe in me. Thomas sank to his knees, overwhelmed by what he'd seen. You are my Lord and my God, he said. I do believe in you. Well, Jesus said some pretty important words that day. He said, peace be with you. Every Sunday when we gather in church, we always pass the peace and welcome others into our midst as well. So instead of saying, see you later today, I'm going to say, peace. Until next time. So long for now.